Hello everyone and welcome to Farming Simulator 22. I'm very happy to have received this game today, the Collector's Edition, and I've installed it so we are ready to play. First thing to notice about the game is the dynamic menu which changes through the seasons, which is really really nice. So I have actually uh, started a game just to test out my audio, make sure that the game sounds and the vehicle sounds are all good, uh, but I've actually deleted that career so we can start from scratch. And in the main menu we've got the usual career, multiplayer, downloadable content, which is where you can get your DLCs and mods from. There's quite a few on here already, but I'm not going to look at any of those just yet. Achievements, and then I've uh, gone through all the options to make sure my graphics are looking pretty good and um, fit for my graphics card and yeah as mentioned I've also checked the audio so that should be good to go but let me know if uh, anything's a bit too loud or too quiet and I can adjust for the next time but yeah I'm gonna run some let's plays of farming simulator 22 and I'm gonna do that by running through the start of each map uh, as part of uh, the built-in game so we're going to start a career and we've got lots of empty slots which is nice for save games of the future but yeah let's carry on and yeah we're going to do new farmer to start with to make it nice and easy now maps we've got elm creek and hawk baileron and erlengrat now i am going to try all three but i'm going to start with elm creek and elm creek is the sort of first map that I saw advertised for FS22 so we're going to give that a go and I've got the class Zerion saddle track pack uh, as a DLC uh, with the collector's edition so that was good let's make a start one thing to note is it's quite handy having the percentage on the loading screen as before it was a little bit um, of guesswork to know when the map was going to load Okay, so first things first, we've got to set ourselves a character. So let's uh, change our name to Artemis. And looks like we've got lots of options to choose characters, choose hairstyles, beards, mustaches, outfits, tops, trousers, boots, hats, and even gloves. Oh, and sunglasses there. So I'm going to quickly speed through selecting the character as I want him to look and uh, yeah, I'll see you shortly. And there we go, selected our character Artemis. So welcome to Farming Simulator. Would you like to start a short guided tour? This will show you the basics of the game. I'm gonna click no, because I know a little bit about Farming Simulator already. Uh, if you'd like to start later, you can uh, find it in the map. There we go, cool. So this is Elm Creek. And uh, I assume this is our farmhouse, looking nice. And uh, we've got a barn over there, a silo. And uh, yeah, looks like we've got a pickup down here. Very handy. Cool, so let's take a quick look at the map as uh, it'd be nice to see what vehicles we've got. But yeah, look, here is the new map and very, very different to FS19. Lots of blue icons and uh, yeah, looks a bit more um, cartoony, I guess you'd say. Um, but yeah, looks pretty, pretty clean, pretty smart. Um, so we've got a combine up here. This is a Deutzfahr, I believe, top liner 4090H. We've got our pickup 1986 here, a John Deere 4755, and a Massey Ferguson 3670, and then another John Deere 7810. Nice, cool. So yeah, this is our farm and this is our area. And uh, looks like we've got a few jobs uh, to do. Uh, starting out so there's some harvesting i think that's uh, some seeding over there and uh well no i think that might be cultivating um so yeah a few jobs to do around the farm oh this is the cultivating one excellent 
So we'll get stuck into those in a moment. But yeah, one thing I did want to look at is a bit of a further view of the menu. So here we've obviously got the map, and this is uh, Elm Creek fully zoomed out. Quite a large map. We've got our uh, production style areas over here. So there's a dairy, a cereal factory, uh, looks to be train stations and some silos and a biomass energy plant over there. But yeah, lots dotted around. Vehicle shop, oil mill, debris crusher, great processing. Cool. There's so much to go at. Um, but what crops have we got? Um, so looks like we've got wheat in 45. 44, I think, is harvested. So if we look through, yeah, we should see that that's harvested. And this is ready to harvest. And this ground is cultivated. So 46 is ready to seed with what we choose. Now down here is a interesting uh, jobs menu or active workers menu. So this is where all of the jobs that you can put the helper onto will appear. So I'll probably show that a little bit later. But yeah, it looks to be some quite cool features with uh, workers and how to get them moving around and helping you out. Right, now here we go, the crop calendar. Now of course, Seasons is on by uh, default in FS22. We have the ability to turn it off, pause it and increase the length of days and months. Um, so um, yeah, that's uh, really cool. But we can see here what crops we can plant uh, using the green bars and then what crops are ready to harvest based on the orange bar. So if you've ever played the Seasons mod on FS19, you'll know all about this, but very nice to have it incorporated into the game. Weather, so yet yeah, another key part of Seasons. We know how, uh, how hot it is, how cold it is, um, what the uh, temperature is, which is very important for when we are planting. So our seeds can germinate and the soil is the right temperature. And then it looks like we've got wind on here as well, which is pretty good. Um, prices. So this is the prices of uh, crops per thousand litres. And yeah, I think this is telling us how much we've got in storage as well, which is pretty handy. Um, yeah, looks like we've got uh, per crop, so wheat, Tells us where the various sell points feed and grain south, Goldcrest Valley, Grain Mill, Johnson's Farms Market, how much they are buying it for. Looks like some sell as well, but uh, can't see any of those. But yeah, that's quite handy uh, to focus in on the crops that you want to. The large table in FS19 sometimes made it a bit complicated to, to get at what you were trying to see. Vehicle overview. So this is all the ones we have. Um, so name of the vehicle, I think the uh, time we've had it, um, this looks to be how many uh, hours we've got on the clock. The maintenance, oh that's a really handy stat because um, we can see when we need to service it. Key, I'm not sure what that's for, that might be for multiplayer if certain people have got certain keys for uh, certain vehicles. And then the value of the car. Cool. Finances. Yep. Yeah, same as uh, FS19, it looks to be a uh, bit of an accountancy spreadsheet of uh, how your day or month in this case is looking. Animals. Yeah, all our animals would appear here on the, on the various pens as we buy them or get them. Contracts. So yeah, contracts again in FS22, which is good to see. Bit of a boost to help uh, the funds um, when we need them. So got some fertilizing and harvesting on at the moment production chains so we'll have to look into this a bit later on but this is where we will set up the various production chains that are available in fs22 uh, like um, taking wheat to the bakery and then making cakes and, and all sorts of things that are fun um, in various production chains statistics so yeah lots of stats here around how long we've worked how many acres and hectares we've worked on and so forth Game settings. Now here we have um, things like autosave, which I'm going to turn off, um, the economic difficulty, traffic, seasonal growth. So yes, we can have this as yes, no, paused. We're going to have yes. Days per month. So this is quite 
good and a bit different actually from FS19. We can uh, have all uh, the months of the year rather than just the seasons and specify how many days per month, which gives it a bit more depth in my opinion. Fixed visual month. Snow on, yes, that's good. Crop destruction, I'm going to turn off as I actually find that to be quite difficult, but we'll we will try that later on. Periodic plowing on, yeah, that's good. And dirt, uh, normal. Automatic engine start off. Like to be able to turn that on. Cool. Right, so that's that. And then just some other general settings like money units. Um, we'll set that to dollars, uh, miles, keep Celsius and keep hectares excellent and then lastly just the controls and the help screen so that is the menu right so um we've got a fair few jobs to be starting out on so i'm going to work through each of these individually just to see how uh see how the game works see how the vehicles operate and sound so this is the deutz farm let's uh, hop in it very nice. Good details. There's our character in there. Decided to go with that look. And yeah, let's take a look in the cab and get her started up. Nice. Cool, so we will hitch up. We're going to have to unfold. There we are. And uh, yeah, let's get her started up. Brilliant. So we should be dropping some straw as a byproduct of the wheat. There we go. And looks like it also sprays some to the side, which is pretty nifty. Beacon. There we go. Now, uh, if you'd have seen my collector's edition unboxing video you would have seen that I have the collector's edition beacon which uh, actually starts flashing when I switch on and switch off the beacon in the game which is a really neat feature and uh, really do like that um, it's going to remind me about uh, making sure I switch on and off the beacon when I'm supposed to like when we're traveling on the roads and so forth yeah let's uh do our next row. Nice. So, yeah, the idea is to go through each map, do the startup uh, gameplay, so the jobs that it's sort of made ready for us as part of the uh, easy setup, and uh, just check each map out, see what they've got to offer. And also see what equipment it selects per map, as I'm sure it will be uh, different per region. Obviously, got Elm Creek, which is based on the US. Earl and Grant, which is uh, based on the uh, mountainous areas of Europe in Germany, I believe. And then we've got Hort Baileron, which uh, I believe is a French map. So that'll be interesting. I've never seen a French map. Right. 16% full, 14,000 litres, so this has got quite a good uh, hopper. But let's get this harvesting finished and then we can deposit it in the uh, trailer over there, hitched up to the Massey. I'll see you soon. Right, so finish the harvesting job. Let's uh, drop the header off at the uh, on the trailer. And uh, yeah, a little bit messy there. Um, 
apologise, I'm still getting used to the uh, the steering. I'm using mouse and keyboard, so uh, it's not quite as easy as a, as a wheel. And uh, as you notice, the steering stays. It doesn't return back to the central point. So uh, yeah, relies on me going forward or backwards to then uh, level out, which I'm not quite used to. So yeah, just uh, getting the feels and the grooves of the game. A bit different to FS19, but uh, yeah, liking it so far. The uh, harvesting was pretty fun. I like the textures coming out, and uh, yeah, the swath looks to be pretty good. We'll go give that close up now that I've uh, lined up the the auger. So there we go. That is the straw, and then this is the harvested ground. Now I don't believe um, that the uh, Nvidia um, plug-in, or not plug-in, but the um, ability to sort of map this game to uh, uh, the NVIDIA GeForce uh, software is out yet. Um, I've got an NVIDIA graphics card and uh, it normally recognises games when they're installed and then can apply the optimal settings. So I've done my best guess on the uh, best uh, graphics settings. Uh, I think I've got it on very high for all, but there's a few uh, advanced settings which uh, I'm not uh, a full expert on so yeah that's to be uh, to be improved upon when when it recognizes the game in uh, my graphics card software but there we go that's harvested and now we've got 36,891 liters of wheat in here nice so let's take a quick look at where the best price is Right, so this is a prices page, and wheat is here. And the best price looks to be the grain mill, £1,269. So let's find that on the map. Right, so the grain mill is all the way up here on the map, and uh, quite far away from where our farm is. However, I am going to try and see if I can use the new worker built into FS22. Before I do, this is the Massey Ferguson 3670. Looks very good. And uh, I also wanted to mention the HUD. So yeah, brand new HUD in FS22. Looks pretty neat. Again, the blue uh, icons and styly. But we'll notice that the mini-map um, on the left looks to be quite, quite sharp. Uh, looks very clean and neat easy to distinguish uh, the roads and other vehicles and everything else. Um, top left we see the usual uh, tractor and attachment guide showing us what things we've got attached. Uh, top right we've got the weather, the month, the time and then money. And then bottom right we've got our speed, um, We've got the ability to see what gear we're in. So if we start driving down this way, we'll see that it shifts into two, three, four, wrong side of road. And uh, yeah, nice smooth speedometer as well. With uh, the fuel and the servicing bars there. So yeah, different style to FS19, but looking quite neat. Right, so one thing I did want to try is the AI worker. So if we go to the jobs menu, we can see uh, here, if we click on the Massey Ferguson, we can create a job and I can tell it to go to a certain place. Now, if I click on target position and try and scroll up to the grain mill, I think you have to select the main road. It doesn't like stuff that's off the beaten track and then we'll have it facing in this direction, which you can select after you've clicked it once. We can select start job. Right, so that has worked. And we'll see that our Massey is driving itself. So I assume it's going to find the shortest route. It looks to be turning right here, up this way, and then right again here. So we'll let it do its thing. Um, and come back to it and see if it's worked. I'm not sure if I can actually, oh, there we go. I can sit in it whilst he's driving. 
So I'm not moving. This is the worker doing this. Um, yeah. It's a bit scary, actually. I don't know if he's going to be like some sort of autonomous vehicle and suddenly veer off the road and crash, but uh, we'll see what he's doing. Oh, okay. He's uh, not quite getting the lanes merging there. Let's give him a chance. He's got to turn right here. So let's see if he does that. Will he indicate? That's the question. No, but he's turned it. So yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Cool. Right, we'll leave him to that and come back to him later. So on to the seeding next, I think. But whilst we do the seeding, I'm actually going to probably set this cultivator up on another job. So let's uh, let's jump in that vehicle first of all and just take a look at it. So this is the John Deere 4755 starter up. Nice. So we can attach the cultivator at the back and then the front weight. So let's just do a a strip. It's the weight lowering, switch to the back. So yeah, I think in uh, FS22 the tractor is a bit reversed. It used to face to the left, so the rear attachments would be on the right of it. So that's the other way around now, unless I've just completely not even noticed it being that way in, in FS19. Yeah, this, uh, this tractor is really cool. It's actually one I wanted to use in FS19, so Glad I've had the chance to use it in FS22. Alright, let's line up again. And set him off. Good working speed. Good texture change. And texture of the cultivating. Very good. Right, so I'm going to try and set a worker here. Now I think, like the uh, good old days, I can... Just align it up and press H and a worker will set themselves off. Brilliant. So that is the worker driving. Oh, right, I'm just going to turn that worker off and I'm just going to show you the other way that uh, you seem to be able to set up using the jobs menu and the worker menu that we showed just a moment ago. So if I line him up here and go back to this, I can then select the John Deere, create another job, select field work, and I think then just start job. Okay, it looks like he's starting from that side. So maybe I needed to select the side he was on, but it looks like he's uh, getting himself in position. Okay, no field found. Let's try that again. So I think that was maybe just me setting it wrong. Probably because he drove into where it's already cultivated. So let's do create job field work, target position, and we'll set him off on his current line. Okay, I don't know why. Just set the direction. Was there. All right. Start job. There we go. He's off. So I think the uh, idea and the benefit of that is you can obviously get a worker to drive to a location on the main road and then uh, set it to go do some field work on uh, on the field without having to tab to the vehicle so that's quite handy just gonna he's gonna back up here and uh, set himself off that is great cool right let's go check in on our other worker who yeah has seemingly got themselves over here which is fantastic 
think, uh, maybe place themselves right bang in the middle of the road, which uh, is probably a bit annoying for other drivers, but never mind. So here we can deposit our, our wheat and sell it. Cool. So 4,682 pounds. Wasn't expecting huge amounts from that. But uh, yeah, not bad at all. Right, so let's get back to the main road and then I'm going to ask another worker to drive back to the farm. So if I set him this way, back to this screen. Then we create job, go to, back to our farm, start job, there we go, cool. Right, so whilst that's all happening, the cultivating's going on and the uh, trailer's coming back to the farm, let's hop in this uh, John Deere, to keep, keep remembering to tab back to the right screen on the map. Oh, so the uh, 7810. Get this uh, hitched up. And we've got the Nordston Seed Drill. Not use this, but uh, that's pretty cool. Right, so we've got wheat selected, but one thing we need to check is the month. So we're in August. So let's take a look at our calendar. And we can see, yeah, we can't plant wheat. Uh, we could wait, but let's plant something that we can. So looks like canola can be planted in August. And olives. Oh, no, sorry, that's poplars can. So we're going to go with canola. Let's, uh, let's plant some canola. There we go. Get this turned on. OK, I need to unfold it first. Drops that little wheel there. Turn it on. Get lined up and blur away. Nice crow sounds. That's something that you didn't get in uh, FS22. Just scared the crows and they flew away. Right, one row done, on to the next. See, I'm liking the uh, the tyre depression you can sometimes see. And I think that uh, you can even see some traction. There's a bit of slippage on the wheel, which is quite cool. Dust coming out the back. but looking very nice. All right, let's get this job finished up. And then I think that's all the starting jobs done. So there we have that field, 46, seeded with canola. And uh, bang ahead of us, our worker has returned from the grain mill. 
But uh, yeah, there's blocked one unhappy citizen there. Um, yes, I will show you, but uh, I don't believe the AI worker likes to drive on non-main roads. So if we select here, create job, go to, and we select somewhere like here in a farm, and do start job. Oh, okay, I am proven wrong. This didn't work earlier when I tried it. Let's try with the pickup going to somewhere down here. Okay, so yeah, that didn't work. Um, maybe it's because the uh, truck is sort of in a shed, so it can't quite do it. But yeah, that was good. The uh, worker has driven down there, which is quite handy. And then our AI worker has finished the cultivating of field 44, which is nice. So yeah, we should see on the map that uh, we've got wheat harvested from 45. And 46 is now growing our canola. And 44 is nicely cultivated, ready to be seeded. Looks like these fields need ploughing, so that's one thing to uh, to note. But yeah, uh, that's all the starting jobs done. Um, well, it looks to be a train going this way. Don't think we can hop into it, but uh, that's running around, which is pretty cool. There it is. And there's a crossing here, which uh, can only mean there's going to be lots of... Uh, Vehicle fatalities crossing that, no doubt. No, my luck as well. Cool. But the last thing I wanted to do was just quickly hop in the pickup and we can have a little tour around the main road just to see the map and its general surroundings as we've only seen pretty much one area. Actually, let's go right out of here uh, down towards the industrial area and then back around here. Do one loop. Yeah, I'm going to time lapse that so a little bit quicker And here we are back at the farm. So did a quick dash around uh, sort of our area of uh, this part of uh, Creek. And yeah, it looks really nice. The productions area is really interesting. I'm going to need to investigate that more, uh, whether it's on this map or not. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, the idea is I'm going to do a quick let's play of each map and then um, take a decision from there on which map I want to carry on with for a series. But that is it for FS22 episode 1. And that is the Let's Play of Elm Creek. Hope you have enjoyed. Um, if you haven't already, please check out my unboxing video for the Collector's Edition. And then, yeah, the rest of this week I will be doing a Let's Play for the two other maps. Um, Erlengrat and Otbaleron. Which, uh, yeah, will be interesting. And then after that I'll be choosing a map to do my series so all that's left to say is a big thank you for any views likes and subscribes if you've got any tips tricks or things you'd like me to do um i'm all ears because uh, this is obviously very new to me and uh, i know some people are well ahead of the game so if you've got any good ideas and tips um then please let me know by leaving a comment but all that's left to say is cheers for watching catch you later and uh, see you next time bye bye